Are you happy being average? Well, you know, a lot of times people will call me and they'll say, Steve, hey, what's the average uh, price for this? Or what's the average rate for this? And, uh, and, and things like that there. And it's always about averages. So that's why I have to ask, are you happy being average? You know, because your average, um, you know, you're talking about, oh, average revenue for a cleaning company. And we know that the average revenue for a cleaning company is, you know, under a million dollars. You know, and the average production rate, you know, for a commercial clean, for a general cleaning is approximately, you know, uh, 3,200 square feet per hour. That and, you know, we may be looking at some average turnover rates uh, for our employees. You know, are we turning over three, uh, three a, a month or three a quarter or, you know, what is it? What's the average? And, uh, you know, what's our average retention rate for our clients? You know, are we retaining uh, 80% uh, you know, for the year or, you know, what is it? What's the average? So, you know, that's why I always have to ask, you know, is uh, are you happy being average? Because on some of those numbers or some of those topics that I just talked about, um, I don't think I'd be happy being average, you know, such as turnover. If I had an employee turnover where my rate was average, industry average, well, I, I don't want that. You know, I want my turnover rate to be much lower than industry average because the, the average is 300%. And there's no way I could, I'd run my business with 300% turnover. Uh, that drive me insane. Uh, you might as well just uh, install a revolving door at your, uh, at your office because that's what would be happening. They'd be coming and going so fast. So, no, I don't want to be average as far as that stat goes, you know. And as far as uh, customer retention, you know, I want 100% customer retention. Uh, there's no reason for me to be average, um, you know, because uh, our job, what we do for cleaning is so darn easy that there's no reason why you should lose a customer. The only reason you should lose a customer, in my opinion, is that if they sold their business, moved, uh, or went out of business. You know, other than that, we should never lose a customer because of service. So, you know, as far as the client retention rate, we're not going to be average. So, you know, I just wanted to throw this question out to you and see what your thoughts were. And just to get you thinking, you know, because, uh, you know, when it comes to my cleaning company, I don't want to be average. You know, there's some things that I want to be better than average. And, you know, that's that's just me. You know, for example, if the average uh, average company is doing under a million dollars in revenue, well, you know, maybe I'd like to do better than that. So, you know, and, uh, you know, some of the other averages that, that are uh, along that line, you know, like, well, the average pay that you're paying an employee. Am I happy with average? No, because typically I'll pay higher than average. And, you know, by doing so, I'm going to attract better uh, applicants, better employees. That and, you know, if I'm an average cleaning company, that means that generally I'm not offering any paid time off or any types of benefits. So again, yeah, I don't want to be average. You know, I'm going to be giving my employees paid time off and I'm going to give them some other benefits. Sure, you know, some of these things are going to cost money, but some of these things such as paid time off is is very easy to give. It doesn't really cost me nothing. Uh, the only thing that your uh, most companies are worried about is, well, how are they going to cover that shift when that person takes time off? Well, don't worry about that. That employee has produced for you, so, you know, give them some time off. Give them the time off that they want. It's an easy, simple benefit to offer somebody. So don't be average. Don't be like everybody else. You know, offer that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll stop my ranting and raving about this, about being average. I uh, just wanted to give you uh, something to think about. And, uh, you know, I sure like to hear your thoughts. Uh, if you did like, what, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, you'll find hundreds of videos on uh, how to build a successful cleaning business. Uh, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Thanks for stopping by and checking in. We'll see you next time.